today we're back on Black Ops 6 Zombies and we're finally going to unlock Afterlife and Nebula on the baseball bat. This camo challenge has been really fun so far, but it's definitely taken a piece of my soul. But anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. Basically, what we need to do is get the Easter egg started and then on the step where you've got to kill either the Mangler or the Abomination on a trap, we're going to purposefully fail that 10 times in a row and I've just realised I need to be using this baseball bat to get kills, so... I'm going to start doing that now. So the challenge is to get 20 kills consecutively with the baseball bat without taking damage. Now, I thought that meant that you had to sort of do it like where you have to get them back to back, but you don't. They just have to be 20 kills without getting hit. But if you take a minute between kill, it would still count. So when I did the knife, my strategy was to hop onto something like this and just kind of stand there and wait for them to pile up and then hit them. I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to be very feasible with this bat because it's a bit slower, but we're going to upgrade it a bit and give it a try. So what I'm going to do is try and collect as much salvage as I can. Then I'm going to pack a punch my gun, get Meli Mikaato and uh, upgrade the rarity of my baseball bat. Because if we're doing this at round 15 and we're going to be locked onto that round, then I'm pretty sure I'm not even going to need to upgrade the baseball bat. So I've got a suppressor on this gun, so I'm going to quickly use this to get my salvage up and then we'll... Uh, head over and start the easter egg pretty soon and by the way can i just say afterlife camo is so underrated it is such a nice camo like the blue i mean i've got filters on this game but the blue is really popping it just looks sick i was really curious i looked at how much in game time i had on zombies and it was just over six days which is it sounds bad i promise i'm employed and i promise i have a girlfriend i'm not as sad as that might make me sound but it just goes to show that this camo is really really time consuming but it's a lot of fun to go for too so we've got enough points here so we're gonna start heading towards the pack a punch room and honestly the first thing i might do instead of pack a punch in is just get meli macchiato because that perk is going to come in clutch. I'm also going to upgrade the rarity of the baseball bat and that should make it a little bit easier. So I think the strat I'm going to try is I'm literally just going to stand on here and by the time they climb up to get me, I can smack them and it means that getting this done should be relatively easy. I also need to real quick just start the Easter egg so that that's done. So yeah, the plan of action is to get uh, afterlife on this baseball bat done first by just hitting them up here and then after that i'm going to start the easter egg steps until i get to the ltg device phase where the mangler or abomination spawns in and then every time he does spawn in i'm just going to kill him but not on a trap so it restarts and i guess do that 10 times with the baseball bat real quick though actually i'm going to pack a punch my gun now that i have 5k so i'll get that pack a punch real quick and then we can continue honestly though the uh the camo grind so far has been a blast it's been i mean it's been long don't get me wrong but that rhymes it's yeah it's definitely been long but it's been it's been really fun and i mean what's better than just shooting zombies you know what i mean in your spare time which i clearly have a lot of but i'm just hoping that this baseball bat right now stays as a one hit because if that's the case then this isn't going to take too long oh my god oh my god Jesus Christ. You can see what I mean though. By the time they climb up, there's like so much time to hit them and it just makes this so easy to cheese. I wouldn't call this an exploit. I would call this big brain energy is what I'd call it actually. Oh, and there we go. Afterlife camo for the baseball bat. That really was not that bad, actually, at all. Right, so the next thing we need to do is go to this checkpoint so we can start the whole process of doing the easter egg because yeah like i said the mangler and the abomination that spawn in on the ltg step they both count as elite zombie kills so hopefully we can get a mangler because then that would just make this process so much easier so we just need to go to this checkpoint trigger that and then we can start looking for the groundskeeper normally this guy doesn't take too long to spawn in so i mean here's hoping that he doesn't because i want to get this easter egg done as quick as i can or at least set up if you know what i mean just so i can you know because there's a lot of guns i need to get through and try and get nebula run and i have a feeling it's going to be quite a long process but oh there he is so we grab his tool shed key quickly grab the handbrake we need to pick up this uh water valve and then start placing it there we go so now we can grab the part from this which is the water pressure gauge and now we just need to wait for a mangler to spawn in so i can break into this radio house because i can't be bothered waiting i'm just going to go and craft a mangler cannon and then open up that radio house and then of course as soon as i craft one a mangler spawns in anyway so that is fantastic 
first try as well as the electrical wires. So now we can craft the jet gun and start gathering the pieces to build the LTG device. I mean, thank God that this Easter egg exists though, because if I had to go through and just kill 10 abominations like normal, oh my God, that would literally take years, it feels like. So grab the last bit here. Now we can go craft the LTG device and pretty much start the process of getting Nebula. Now, I'm going to do this the first time and hopefully it spawns a Mangler. I mean, I could do it with an Abomination, but it's going to be so much easier with a Mangler. So I'm hoping that the RNG gods give me a Mangler first try. So now we place this down and we're going to have to defend this portal real quick. Oh, look at that. So, so now I need to... Get him really low with this gun and then smack him with the baseball bat. I am going to pack a punch this gun though real quick because obviously these manglers have got quite a bit of health and I'm going to need everything I can get to get rid of them as quick as I can. Okay, okay, okay. Chill out. Jesus Christ. Maybe I need to pack a punch this baseball bat as well because that just is doing no damage. I'm going to firm it. There we go. So that's an elite zombie kill. So now I just need nine more of those. So now this goes on cooldown. So I can't just instantly spawn him back in. But it doesn't take long, I don't think, to charge back up. I don't know if I need to do something to make it charge back up. Or if it just takes time. I, I don't really know. But there we go. So we can start this again. And it should spawn another one pretty much straight away. And yeah, it should stay as uh, a mangler. So we've got basically an infinite supply of manglers now to kill. I have kind of just clocked though how long this is going to take to do with all 35 guns because i've also done the krieg and the sog so yeah it's definitely going to be quite a quite a lengthy process ideally what i want to do is keep like one or two zombies alive just so every time i do this i'm not having to fight off a whole horde there we go so that's two out of ten definitely gonna pack up onto this baseball bat though real quick because it's feeling kind of weak against this guy i need to figure out though whether this resets every time a round finishes or if it just has a timer cooldown i'm not really sure how it works yet all right this thing has been on cooldown now for like a minute and a half so i have a feeling i'm gonna have to just end the round and then that should make it ready to use again so I guess the strat is to leave one zombie left in the round and then focus on killing him with whatever weapon you're trying to do. And then you can kill that zombie and the thing should reset. So let's see now how this baseball bat does. There we go. That's a little bit better now that it's pack a punch. So now I just need to kill this zombie and this should start recharging pretty quickly. So now we've reached a round cap of 15. So we're not going to go past this round, which is definitely going to make it easier on us. Because if I was having to do this to like round 30, it would definitely be a bit of a pain in the neck. But honestly, this strat's not even like that bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. It takes uh, a little bit of time, but it's really not as hard as i thought it was gonna be do you know what i will say though about this game the one thing that bugs me and i know it's with the theme because this guy is literally a jacked up mangler it's like he's trying to have like a cold moments compilation every time he speaks by saying like i'll give you pain and all this it's just shush there we go so that's uh what like six or seven out of ten i can't i can't really remember but i don't know what the devs were thinking though i, I don't know if maybe they expected people to kind of cheese it like this or what but thank god that it you know someone used the brain and figured this out because it definitely makes this whole process so much easier literally i'm getting bored of doing this already and it's the first of 35 after i've done this i've still got 34 whole weapons to do yeah this is gonna take a while Oh, wow, we are just destroying him with this insta-kill. That's the strat, man. Just get an insta-kill every round, and this becomes, like, the easiest thing on planet Earth. Oh, look at... Literally, I said the strat a second ago was to get an insta-kill, and straight away, I've got another one. That is absolutely goated. So now we can hit this, and then this should be the last one to get Nebula for the first weapon. There we go, right, one more hit, and that should be Nebula, if I'm not wrong, show it, show it, come on, let's go, oh my god, oh my god, that has taken, that was just, is it worth it, I mean, let's, let's go find out, right, here we go, let's have a look, whoa, that is pretty cool, only thing is, I can't really see it on this weapon. Probably the worst weapon to pick to get it on and try and showcase it. But it looks sick, man. 
Uh, was it worth it? No, no, absolutely it was not worth it. But I know quite a few people uh, skipped doing the melee weapons in favor of just doing the new AR and SMG. But I did them and I did the launches as well. But I also did the DLC weapons because when it comes to Dark Matter, which I'm slowly making my way through, I've decided there's just no way I'm doing the launches because I suck at PvP. And yeah, I can't even imagine how much of a grind that would be. Maybe I'll come back and do them. But for now, I'm just going to do the DLC guns instead. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me get more nebula guns then please let me know by leaving a like leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel if you're new but as always thank you very much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all later